Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More and standing outside a house flip we just bought today for 398,000. So this is one of the most expensive ones we've bought in a long time. I'll show you why we paid that much and what it's worth and the repairs and all that good stuff in this video as we walk through it. And of course, check out investformore.com for more information on my flips, rentals, be an agent, all that good stuff. Invest for more backslash flips lists over 70 flips that we've done the last three years with before and after video. So great information there. Um, this house bought from a wholesaler. The garage is still open because the sellers did not get all their stuff out yet. But that kind of stuff happens sometimes when you buy these properties. But this one is in Loveland, Colorado, in the Mariana Buttes neighborhood. So it's very nice area, great golf course. Um, played on it a few times. And the ARV after repaired value on this house is right around 500,000. So really there's not a whole lot of room between 398 and 500,000, but it needs paint, carpet, and maybe countertops, and that's it. This is gonna be a very easy one, and when we have easy ones like this, it makes everything so much better. You know, our resources aren't tied up with our contractors working on everything. Our money's not tied up, we can get in and out quick. It's just awesome. So you can see, you know, the kitchen has the light oak cabinets, which aren't my favorite, but I'm certainly not gonna change them. Has laminate counters, which aren't great. So we'll probably do granite, I'm thinking. It should only cost a couple thousand dollars. It has a fridge for everybody who complains that we don't have fridges in our flips. It came with one. So you can't complain on this one. Dishwasher is black, but it's probably fine. We might, you know, replace the microwave so it matches the stove. Backsplash is fine. Hopefully that's one thing. If we do the counters, it might mess up that backsplash, but it's pretty basic. Um, we'll see. That might be, I mean, backsplash isn't too bad, but it just shows, you know, you do one thing, leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, and it just snowballs. And our goal is to spend less money, not more money. Uh, here's the laundry room. I uh, will probably have, I'd say 15,000 in costs on this one because it's pretty big, quite a bit of carpet, quite a bit of paint. But you know, in here, we're not gonna do anything in this bathroom. It's got, you know, decent, Tile, the fixtures are fine. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a brand new vanity that's awesome, but we don't need it. This house will sell without it, and it's not gonna make a difference in price. We'll also have about, probably 30,000 in other costs. And that's something else. When you get into these high dollar properties, you know, we have to pay another agent when we sell it. That's 3% commission, that's 15 grand right there on a $500,000 property. I've got financing on it. I don't buy these with cash because I can do, you know, 26 flips in a year instead of seven. And it makes me more money to use financing than cash for everything. So we'll have a, quite a bit of financing costs as well, probably 10 to 15,000 there. And that'll eat up, you know, most of our costs. We might even have a little more than 30. Once you factor in, you'll have property taxes while you own it. You'll have homeowner's insurance, maintenance, utilities, all those things. And this floor plan, I haven't seen very often, but I really like it. And I think the house is 1,500 square feet on each floor. So it's not huge, but it feels really big. It's a really good size master. Um, one thing it doesn't have is a formal dining room. And I personally don't care about a formal dining room. I would much rather have bigger bedrooms, bigger living room, than a formal dining room that I won't ever use. Here, this is about the only thing that's really wrong with the house is the carpet right there. And they left us some beautiful hangers. Sometimes you get good stuff in houses. <laughs> Here's the master bath. Has a shower, which is just fine. We'll leave that. 
the tub here, which is also just fine. We'll leave that. I mean, you could go crazy and update everything and make it super nice and spend 30 or 40,000 on it, but it probably wouldn't sell for that much more than if we just do the minimum repairs. And it does have a finished basement. Nine foot ceilings, big open room. So it's really nice down here. Really light carpet. And I mean, we could try to clean this up, I guess, but I'm guessing Nikki will want to replace it. We always have, she's my project manager for those who don't know, and she's always trying to spend more money and I'm always trying to spend less money. So <laughs> this room for sure will need the carpet switched out. They left us a sweet piece of furniture. Oh, I haven't looked in here yet. This could be our murder room, I guess. This, every house I have has to have a murder room. The bathroom, again, nothing crazy fancy. We'll put a mirror up and probably take that off. Is that actually, oh, yep, that is kind of glued on there. <laughs> but bathtub surround is fine. One thing I might do is replace this door just because it's got like a cat door. And so if someone buying the house he's at, they'll be like, oh, they had pets in this home. And if someone's allergic to pets, they might have second thoughts about buying it. So we might replace that door just to uh, not have the cat door in there. And then another bedroom in here. They all have egress windows. The nice thing about buying a house, it's 10 or 15 years old is code required every bedroom to have egress windows. In fact, every window in the basement should have egress windows on newer houses. So that's nice. All right, so that's the basement. We'll show the backyard really quick. Oh, I haven't even gone out here yet. So the deck, you can see, will need some paint. It's not a huge yard by any means. But some people like small yards. Less lawn to take care of and maintain. All right, so that's the house. We'll figure out who we can get in here to paint and carpet it, do that right away. The sooner we can get this in the market and sold, the better, because it's such a high dollar property, every day we own it is going to be pretty expensive. All right, thanks for watching. Again, check out investformore.com for much more information on our flips and everything. Uh, we always appreciate the thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll answer them and we'll have more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.